Sky Trooper, and welcome back to another video. Today, I'm going to be showing you guys how to install one of the most useful mods on a Seto Corsa, besides actually installing the base mods, which I showed you guys how to install in the last episode. If you guys haven't watched that, I highly recommend watching it because it goes over the basics of the main mods that you guys need to install when it comes to modding your Seto Corsa. But today, I'm going to be showing you guys a mod that will increase your visuals by a lot, and I'm going to be showing you guys a mod which will also change your weather around. And it's just a really, really useful mod that pretty much every single person who has a set of Corsa uses this mod nowadays. So all you guys are gonna to wanna to do is you're gonna to wanna to click the first download link down in the description below. And that'll bring you guys right here to this website on race department and to the Soul 2.2 mod. If you guys are watching this video at a different time and it is not at 2.2, maybe a little bit higher, 2.5, 2.3, 2.4, it'll still be the exact same way of installing it. But before we go any further, if you guys haven't already subscribed and you guys do find this video useful, please be sure to subscribe. If you think you're subscribed, just be sure to check, hit down below and check, because not everyone realizes that they're not actually subscribed and then they always forget. And that's why only 40% of you guys are subscribed. So you could check and if you could subscribe, that'd be greatly appreciated. But continuing on with the video, all you guys want to do is head down here and read a little bit about it. It'll tell you about it. And it will you will might get a little fps loss with soul but you shouldn't get a lot so it shouldn't be an issue at all and this soul does not bring rain into a set of Corsa, so do not be aware with that but it does have kind of a control the rain effects but it will not bring rain and the only rain mod to uh, get us rain in set of Corsa is kind of a pain mod and i will leave that down in the description below if you guys are interested in it it's a mod you have to pay by patreon but to install this mod all you guys are going to want to do is head to download and let it download it shouldn't take too long it's only a 206 megabyte download so it's just done installing i'm going to show you guys how to get it installed into your Assetto Corsa okay so once that's finished downloading you guys should be greeted with a little file zip like this if you guys go into the mods folder and you go into sol 2.2 you're going to be greeted with a couple of folders right here so to install this, this is going to be quite similar to how you install a bunch of other mods on a set of Corsa, you're gonna to wanna to find your guys' game directory. So to do that, go into your file explorer and then to find your game directory, it's quite simple. All you guys are gonna to wanna to do is go over to whatever drive your Steam is installed on. Go to program files 86, go to Steam, Steam apps and common and your set of Corsa will be here. But mine's in a custom area that I chose with Steam and mine is over here in the Assetto Corsa folder. And you guys will be able to notice that there are very, very similar or identical folders right here. These four folders are the same as there are folders in your set of Corsa game directory. But if you guys are a little bit lost on finding your game directory, if you guys open up your Steam and you guys go to a set of Corsa and you go to the settings icon and you guys go to manage and you go browse local files, it'll take you straight to your set of Corsa game directory like that. Pretty simple and really easy. Once you guys are in your guys is a set of Corsa game directory, grab these files right here and simply drag and drop them into your game like so. Drag and drop them to the side, making sure they're not in any folders by accident. And then it'll move them in like so. Shouldn't take too long. And once that's done, I'm gonna show you guys how to go from there. It's gonna ask me to replace them because I already have Soul installed, but for you it won't. And if it does, just click replace. It doesn't really matter that much. But once that's finished, all you guys are gonna to wanna to do is you're going to simply want to close your soul download now you do not need this and go in to your content manager if you guys don't have content manager installed make sure you guys install that that'll be in the video that came out the other day then my second most recent video from this video and that'll be showing you guys how to install this mod which is pretty much the basis of a set of Corsa. but once you're in your content manager and you're in this menu right here all you guys are going to want to do is go to settings and go to apps under the Assetto Corsa, so the main thing you guys want to do, go to Assetto Corsa and settings, apps, and then activate all these apps right here. Make sure these are all active. And then from here, all you guys are going to want to do is go to apps again on this side and just make sure all of these guys are ticked. And just like that, you guys have now successfully installed Soul in your game. But there is one more thing that you guys need to do. Just heading over to content not content even heading over to settings again go to custom shaders patch if you guys head down here you should be able to see the weather effects that's how you know your soul is successfully installed 
And from here, just like mine is changed automatically, you're going to want to change it from Sol, which is automatic, and then change it to Sol 2.2. So change it to the latest version that's available to you and just keep your weather script as Sol as well. And that should be all good. But if you don't do that, then it will not work. Your Sol will not work in your game. So that's a key thing you need to do. Change your controller script to the latest Sol version. And from there, if you guys go into your drive and you guys go into weather and Sol, you guys see here, there's a bunch of different options that you can choose from your weather that makes your game look so much better. And as I said in the beginning of the game, rain, it will basically add rain noises and make the game look like it's raining, although it's not actually raining. Excuse my voice, it's not actually raining, so you will not actually be able to see rain on the windscreen or on the ground. There are separate mods you can get for that, as I said. There is a wet ground mod you can get which is free for actual rain on the windscreen and things like that you guys are going to have to buy a mod patreon but it's not really a necessity you don't really need to use rain that much unless you really want it but i will leave a link down to those in the description below for those who really want it but if it isn't there make sure you guys comment down below if i did forget and let me know that i forgot to put it there but other than that thank you guys so, so much for watching this video if you guys did find it useful be sure to let me know down in the description below and you can guys can also like the video check out all my other videos this is my second video on a set of course set thank you guys very very much for the continued support that we had on the latest set of course video it was absolutely insane especially for a game that isn't gta 5 and it's really really hopeful for the future of my channel considering i'm not gonna have to stay to gta 5 forever and at that point i was considering quitting youtube because seriously i was so drained of gta 5 content but it will be nice now that we can hop back and forth from a couple of games that i know you guys will enjoy but other than that thank you guys so much for watching this video and i'll see all of you guys in the next one